In this video, we're going to show you how to use PUPSIS. Tama-tama to sa mga bagong students ng PUP, yung mga first year o yung mga freshman, uh, para matutunan nyo paano gamitin itong PUPSIS. So habang nasa PUP kayo, gagamit kayo itong PUPSIS para malaman nyo kung ano yung mga subject nyo, uh, kung sino yung mga professor nyo, ano yung mga grades nyo na nakuha, at marami pang ibang information. So para simulan na ang pagde-demo sa inyo, uh, ito na naman ang ating guest lecturer na si Sir Deb para ipakita kung paano gamitin ang PUPSIS. Sir Deb, take it away! Thank you, Sir Maestro Andoy. Good day everyone. Ngayong araw na ito, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano ma-access ang Student Information System ng Polytechnic University of the Philippines o ang mas kilalang PUPSIS. So kung ikaw ay isa sa mga freshman ng Polytechnic University of the Philippines, as a fellow isko, I welcome you here in PUP. So first things first. Para ma-access ang SIS o ang Student, Student Information System, it's either search mo sa Google or any search engine ang PUP. Or, you can directly enter the uh, URL of PUP in the URL bar, such as pup.edu.ph. So, dito pa lang, uh, may binigyan na kagad na sa yung choices ang PUP website. So, it's either you are an applicant, a student, a faculty member, a researcher, alumni, etc. So, ngayon, Ipapakita ko sa inyo overview ng SIS. So, just click student. Ngayon, mara-redirect tayo sa student website or kung saan pwede, nating, uh, pwede tayo makapili ng iba't ibang uh, portal or features within the PUP, uh, student uh, page of PUP. So, dit, piliin lang natin ng portal for PUP. Ngayon, ito yung tinatawag na nating SIS or ang Student Information System. So at first, papipiliin kayo, are you a student or a faculty? So syempre, ang i-access natin ngayon is ang SIS or SIS account natin na nakastore sa database ng PUP. So just click student. So here, kailangan nyo lang i-fill up yung form uh, required or recorded in our in the PUP database. Your birthday and then your password. So if hindi niyo pa alam yung password ng PUP uh, PUP SIS account niyo, just click I forgot password and PUP SIS will help you to recover or I guess sa mga freshman ito yung unang yung gagawin na procedure to obtain your PPSIS account so after uh, filling up the form just click sign in so if tama lahat ng credential na nilagay mo ito ang bubungan sa iyo so this is the home page of your PPSIS account so at the uh, at the top right, makikita mo doon yung student number mo. Here, makikita mo rin yung pangalan mo alongside with your student number. The same time, ang homepage ng PUPSIS ay inbox mo din just like in Gmail. So dito mo makikita lahat ng official announcement or either uh, announcement ng PUP para sa mga estudyante niya. At the same time, some feedbacks or forms. So next, Meron tayo dito ang enrollment uh, panel or form. So, sa enrollment, dito mo makikita lahat uh, if enrolled ka na ba sa specified course or pinasukan mong uh, course. Also, every end of the semester, dito ka rin pupunta upang mag-enroll or i-enroll ang sarili mo for next semester. So, after you enrolled, you can either have this uh, after all the uh, enrollment processes, pwede mo nang maklik ang Certificate of Registration which will provide you your uh, Certificate of Enrollment 
uh, confirming that uh, you are registered in this specific semester. Next, in the accounts, so dito mo, makikita yung overview na accounts mo during your semesters uh, in the PUP. So, makikita mo dito lahat ng mga nabayaran or mga kailangan mo pang bayaran within this school premises. So, ito. Uh, ipapakita na sa inyo ang isang table, table of accounts, uh, if may bayarin pa kayo, or lahat ba uh, during your first semester, second semester, etc. And that particular school year, ay nabayaran na ba? Or if may balance pa kayo? So, dito nyo lahat makikita, lahat ng balances and accounts nyo. Next, we have this schedule panel. So, kung enrolled ka na sa... Uh, for specific semester, like first semester, second semester of your uh, course or bachelor degree, dito mo makikita naman ngayon ang mga na-enrollan mo na subjects. Also, dito mo rin makikita yung schedule mo. Like the, uh, the time specified and the day specified for that specific subject. At the same time, makikita mo rin dito yung subject code. Also, makikita mo rin dito yung lecture and lab unit. At the same time, makikita mo rin dito yung mga professor na nakasign dun sa subject na na-take mo or matitake mo. Next, we have the grades panel. So, ito yung madalas na tinitingnan ng mga SIS student every time na maglalagin sa PUP SIS. So, dito makikita nyo ang mga officially, official grades nyo on your every subjects on that specific semester. So, at the same time, makikita nyo rin yung magiging GPA nyo. Also, makikita mo rin ang admission status mo such as, such as continuing or complete. For scholar, uh, scholastic status, regular, and also your course description. So, dito rin makikita mo ng maigi ang mga subjects na napag-enrollan mo at the same time yung mga faculty name or the assigned professors, teachers, or part-timers na nakasign sa specific subject na yun. At the same time, yung section code mo. So, what section ka? Like 1, 3, 2, 5, or such. So, kung makikita nyo dito sa school year, we have 21-22. So, what does 21-22 means? So, kinukuha lang nila yung uh, uh, last two digits in the school year, like 2021 to 2022, which uh, which is the 21 and 22 lang yung kinukuha nila as a representative of the school year. At the same time, pwede mo rin makita dito yung curriculum evaluation mo. So, makita mo dito yung overview ng lahat ng grades mo uh, after the present or lahat na na-complete mo na during. And at the same time, yung mga pwede mo pang itake or ititake mo uh, in the near future. So after mo nang makita yung overview ng subjects and grades mo along the way, you can close this. So, Ang isa pa sa mga panel dito sa PUPSIS mo is the forms. So, nothing, uh, not much important here, pero dito ilalagay ng, mga, ng PUP admins or mga namamahala sa SIS, lahat ng mga agreement or such, and some uh, policies. So, dito mo yun makikita. Or either makita mo dito sa forms, sa forms tab, or in the home tab. So, either in-email na na sa inyo or magna-notify na lang dito sa forms. So, last but not the least, here in the top right, there's a, you can click your profile. So, sa profile naman, pwede mo ma-customize or ma-edit yung mga personal information mo. Like your place of birth, your mobile number, or you can update to your email address. So, either uh, madetect to ng mga prop or kaya nilang i-download to for contact information. So, like, uh, kung isasali ka nila sa mga Google Classroom, uh, MS Teams, or such. So, keep in mind to update your email address in your PUPSIS. So, hindi naman masyadong required uh, na 
i-fill up mo lahat ng form dito sa personal data or your uh, profile information. Though it is good, uh, it is a good practice na uh, i-fill up mo to for contact information. At the same time, malaman ng PUP your status. So, if na-update mo na or na-edit mo na lahat ng kailangan mong gawin dito sa personal data mo or information, just click Save. So, so then, the PUPSIS will prompt that uh, a success or status of your data. So, if walang naging problema, your profile will be updated. So, that is all. And after every uh, modification or if tapos mo nang tingnan yung mga uh, grades mo or tapos ka na mag-enroll and such or ma makita ang overview na accounts mo, just click at the top right your SIS number or your student number and you can either change the password at the same time you can sign out. So after every, uh, it's a good practice na kailangan tayo mag-sign out especially if naglalagin tayo sa mga guest, account, uh, guest computers or sa mga hindi natin personal computers. So that is all and thank you. So we are done. Thank you very much, Sir Deb, sa napaka very informative mong demonstration ng PUP SIS for student. Kung nagustuhan mo itong video natin, baka naman pwede maka-request sa inyo ng isang subscribe or like naman diyan. So marami pa akong mga video na makikita niyo sa aking channel at uh, meron pa akong iba pang mga PUP SIS series. So thank you for watching.